going to be ideal out at Coughlin Stadium. Hoping for a better game as a few more of our front runners are playing tonight. We'll see readings in the upper 70s for first pitch here over the next uh, 45 minutes or so. You might want to grab just some light royal blue layers as we're moving towards the seventh inning stretch. I do expect temperatures will begin to settle into the middle 70s and then pretty quickly after sunset we fall into the upper 60s out at Kauffman Stadium for tonight. So again, it is going to be beautiful not only at the stadium, but as we're moving through all of those outdoor evening activities. It's one of those weekends across our area where the list of fall festivals and uh, wonderful things going on in our area is just endless. So hopefully you'll get a chance to enjoy just a little bit of that. Here's a look at your Sunday. We'll wake up to readings in the upper 50s. With mostly sunny skies, 65 degrees by 10 a.m. But notice as we're moving into your Sunday afternoon here in the city, we will see more cloud cover. And I think that will hold true for the bulk of our viewing area on Sunday. Future scan is picking up on this cloud cover moving in from east to west across our area. And I do anticipate we're going to stay dry as we're moving through tomorrow afternoon. But worth a mention over the eastern third of our viewing area, a spit, a sprinkle, not completely out of the question as we're moving towards tomorrow late day. Here's a look at that seven day forecast 80 degrees your forecast. High here in the city for your Sundays. We're wrapping up our weekend together, but worth a mention, I know many of you watching the boys in blue out at Kaufman, but also keeping an eye on Sporting Kansas City. It's going to be a packed house, and the weather certainly will cooperate out at Sporting Kansas City for tomorrow afternoon's game. With Seattle in town, we'll see a kickoff at 4 p.m. with lower 80s for the beginning of that game. Monday and Tuesday is a dry beginning to the work week, but then keeping an eye on storm chances. Initially, some of this may remain to the northern, four, northern third of our our viewing area on Wednesday and Thursday, with a little bit better shot of seeing some of these showers and storms here in Kansas City as we're moving towards Friday and Saturday towards the end of that seven day forecast. But again, in between now and then, just looking ideal across the area for our evening plans.